Hi, my name is Andrew Worrell. <clears throat> I purchased this property in 2012. It was once the heart of a 200 acre property, which consisted of most of that field, all the way back to those trees, all of which down behind there I'll show you. But what's left now is just the main property, which is what I own. And that that whole, um, that field right there, I cut that, that's personal use. But as you can see here, where the grass has been cut, this is all crop, okay? Um, I don't use this at all for anything other than growing hay for, uh, sale actually and I just had my guy come and cut this I don't cut it I let him do it he pays me he buys the hay off of me so why not let him use his equipment instead of using mine and he cuts it and everything what he wants so this whole fuel I'm walking in right now is uh, commercial use only or agricultural I should say so I want to continue on here while well, you can see what's going on here. There is 13.5 acres here. And there's the house and some of the barns. There are three large of them, large barns. All the fence in area you see, I lost that fence right there in the Duracho. I do plan on fixing it or having it fixed if possible. Right now, money's tight. I can't afford it. How much of this property is not being used other than for agricultural purposes? I would say 80%, 85% is all being used for agricultural purposes. Now, the only reason I'm making this video is I noticed my taxes have been increased twice out, twice over, at least. When I purchased this property in 2012, one of the reasons why I purchased it is I was moving here from Pennsylvania. I couldn't afford the taxes. And I couldn't afford the, the, you know, the cost of living. I was, afforded me a little something less, so I came here. And everything was okay for a while. I was paying $800 every six months. So it was a $1,600 taxes. Now I'm paying $1,600 a month. Yeah. We had 36 of those, I think, last year. 32, 36, something like that. Anyway. Let's see how much of this property, all of this, all of this is grass. So, I'm trying to either get it back to agriculture again, because they do have it, they told me this was zoned ag, but yet they're charging me residential taxes. I just got something in the mail telling me that it was always residential, and I know that's not true. Because I had the people from the tax office physically tell me that over the phone that, oh yeah, it's zoned uh, agricultural, but you're being taxed as residential. Well, that's not why I bought this property. I bought it to use for agricultural purposes. Now we have, right now, four turkeys. I think there's 22 chickens, four guinea fowl, which are gonna be more. I've got some ordered. They don't fare well. Oh, the ones I have now are pretty old. All that, all that is my property. All that you see is cut. All that, it's all being used for hay. I go up here. Yeah, I had, uh, well, there's grapevines in my fence, and that's what caused all the problems with the Duracho. It created a resistance to the air, 
which caused it to fail. Looks like he's, he's taken some hay with him already, obviously. There's a lot less rolls right now than there were before. I know he had help. I think his son was helping him this year. The first I've seen that. I walked around the other day with the video. I don't think I came. I did not come to the other side of this fence. I stayed on the other side. You can see all of this. That's all grass that I I grow and sell and maintain the property for that reason. I'm going to go around the other way here. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is I can't afford the taxes anymore. I noticed it's been the past two years that I've paid so much more. So either they thought my property's worth more suddenly, I don't know. No one's ever been out here to look at this property or to measure anything or to speak to me personally. I've had spoken emails with the tax people. And uh, I think I spoke on the phone twice to the lady that said she did a drive by. And she looked and said, I don't think that's agricultural. Well, you don't see the whole property from the road. Yeah, I gotta get this fixed. I really do. I tried to straighten it up, and all it's doing is breaking the poles. So I gotta replace these poles. Yeah, but see all this here? It's all grass. this fence here. Shouldn't do that, but I'm going to. I'm going to take it to the other fence line so you can see the rest of the field. Right now, where I'm walking, it's all used for grass. It's all crop. This fence isn't too, too bad. There's a couple spots that failed. We can see all the way to the other fence line and past it. It's all grassland. Yeah, you see here where the where there was grapes, it failed. Now the other barn. Uh, also, the grassland around it, all used for crops. Right now, I don't have enough livestock to make it worth me fixing this fence, although I do have collies. This is a collie farm. I was raising them here, but I can't now due to that fence. Plus, I don't have a, a female right now that's good for breeding. Now, this grass, this here, I cut this. Where you see it uncut is where I need to cut. That right there, that's crop. All that field, it's all crop. I just cut around the buildings, basically. That's my tractor shed there. I have tractors here too in for repairs. I'm leading you right to the other end of the area that we use for grass. I'll show it to you. Okay. That fenced in yard there, all that's grass. All of that. All this is grass. When I say it's grass, it's hay. I grow it for my neighbor. Well, I grow it for the farmers, I should say. I have a farmer that comes, he takes it out of me takes it off my property for me, and then he pays me for it. Now, it goes down, it goes in on the other side of this fence line, and all the way down to where I showed you earlier, that's all grass. I don't use any of that for personal use. Now here in the front, I do cut this one, I cut this from the trees forward, and all the way down to the other side.
So, I know I have to get the lawnmower out. It's so hot, I wait till the mornings when it's cooler. Yeah. All right. What they've done is they've been building houses. Uh, I'll show you one real quick. It wasn't there before. That right there. There's a house they just built. Okay. And the one next to me they just built two years ago. And isn't that weird? That's when my taxes suddenly went up. So, we got a problem. Well, that little building in the center there, that's the coop where all the chickens are, the guineas, and the turkeys are still in the basement. They're not old enough to go out there. So hopefully, after seeing this video, you'll understand my problem here because this is I mean really all all we're using is this little bit of grass right between the buildings and that little bit right there and the rest is all crops all right well hopefully this will help me thank you very much and I'll talk to you soon